Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, I let you know that if you are still using Windows Mail and Calendar, that the app will stop working on the 31st of December this year, 2024, because as I mentioned in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, Microsoft said that after that date, you will no longer be able to send and receive email using Windows Mail and Calendar. Now go check that video out for more info. But I just thought to do a quick video um, because Microsoft has released a post online why they think you should be using the new Outlook for Windows and not the Mail and Calendar app. And just take note that what we're going to talk about today, according to Microsoft, um, applies to the Windows, Mail, Calendar and People apps and not to the classic Outlook for Windows. So they are comparing the new Outlook with mail calendar and people so just obviously be aware of that now first of all uh, microsoft says regarding the new outlook for windows that it is for everyone so everyone they say with windows gets the best of outlook built into windows for free no subscription needed now my first gripe of that is um, although there's no subscription and it's free every time you open up the new outlook you get this advert or a some type of little ad here right at the top of your inbox which, as I've seen online and in the comments on this channel, is very annoying. So there's a bit of a contradiction there. And they say you'll write better emails with advanced AI built into the new Outlook for Windows to help you write clearer, mistake-free messages. They finish off saying new Outlook for Windows can also help remind you to follow up on important conversations. Now that's the, the meat. And then they say there's some other reasons why you should be using the new Outlook for Windows over and above the Mail and Calendar app. And they give us one, two, three, four, five, six reasons. The first reason is because they say it streamlines your accounts. So they say that you can now access your emails in one spot on every Windows device. So as you may well know, just a quick recap, if we head to our settings, accounts, you have the option to add a gmail account if you are using yahoo and so on and uh, um, and they say and even a place for that account you use for shopping so according to microsoft that's another benefit then the second another benefit they say is that it helps you to stay on top of things so which means you can organize your appointments share availability and events with a click and ensure time for important people and events then another reason they say it has a benefit over mail and calendar is it makes you feel secure. So basically they say you can trust in Microsoft security to help keep your emails and documents safe from phishing and scams. And the fourth benefit they say is you can accomplish more. So as you may well know, um, you got your Microsoft 365 free kind of web apps here. So that would be people word excel powerpoint and so on and they say you can access this, that with a click of a button then the fifth benefit they say it helps you to stay organized so um you can file your valuable content they say neatly or find it simply with universal search which is that at the top um, you can make your calendar yours with multiple options and personalization capabilities and know when your packages will arrive with package tracking and then the sixth benefit they say is you can unify your accounts where they say the new outlook for windows brings several advantages when it comes to managing your emails and calendars so basically for example you can now view your various emails and calendar events so you may well know that calendar is bundled into the new outlook so you can manage your email and calendars so as an example you can view your various emails and calendar events in one place making it easier to stay organized. And they say that this is also good for people who have accounts from multiple providers as they can access them all from one unified inbox. Now that's all according to Microsoft. And I have found with the new Outlook for Windows, as I've maybe mentioned quite a few times on the channel, it's one of those apps you either like or you don't. And Microsoft is basically force migrating users over to the new Outlook because it is now becoming the default email client on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And just on a side note, if you are wondering about the classic Outlook, um, I did think I posted a video on this a while back that uh, Microsoft had announced that classic Outlook will be available until 2029. 
Um, if I found that video, I'll also leave that link down below and in the end screen. So that's all according to Microsoft, why you should be using the new Outlook for Windows. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with this or not? I'd be interested to hear. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.